Welcome back to Let's Play Lunar Eternal Blue. Last time, you remember, it was a prison break. So you're probably wondering, where exactly am I going to go? Well, I'm going toward a destiny. But in, in order for us to get there, we must go to the woods and through the woods. Because we have a task to do, and that task is to meet with destiny. So, here we go. Hero, you must fight me. way is not right. I know it's in my heart. However, I do not know how to escape from the web in which I become ensnared. And my options now are severely limited. I know good must prevail. Prove it now with your sword. Why, Leo? Really? All right. If that is what you wish. Yes, Leo is very simple to deal with. After all, it is just only one of you. It's a one-on-one -on -one battle. So it will be the Flash Blade versus the Poe Sword. And behold, after 240 hit points have been whittled down, I'm simply going to walk up to him and say, hey, Seriously. You know, your skills without equal. Perhaps you are the one of legend. Again, it is the legend. Please take this. It holds the power of the white dragon within it. And we get the white dragon aura. The white dragon sleeps within the iceberg of the North Sea. Take my ship. It will get you there swiftly. You have no time to waste. Take to the seas outside Meribia and use the helm of the destiny to navigate. The time has come for me to relinquish command of the destiny. Take the helm, hero. You are now the cap you are now the destiny's captain. I cannot remain with you to fight. So it is here that we must part ways. But Leo. Fight bravely, fight well, and most of all, fight fair. Seriously? Leo, you're just gonna leave us like that, huh? Casting off into oblivion. You know, 
know what? Iwagare did a maximal job of of part two. That's this is one of the reasons why I say Lunar is pretty much the best in the series. The best game that I've ever played in in all the histories of RPGs I've ever I've ever played. Yeah. I mean, if you will listen to that music, that that music is awesome. So, we currently have a lot of MP, uh, well, not MP, MX and Silver, and right now we're going towards the White Dragon King. And going here is gonna be a bitch. Actually, no. You remember that he's there from Lunar, Mutant Flies. Goodbye. Goodbye. everyone doing this morning I had an interesting night last night you see I went to the I went to um, Staples to get this to get a headset Afterwards, I went to Panda Express. Got myself some of that new, that new shrimp, the treasure shrimp. I think it was, it, it might have not been a treasure shrimp, but I think it was something close to it. Anyway. The food was delicious. I received a call to go to and you're gonna run away, aren't you? was I went to um, right after Panda Express I went to the store which was not too far from where Panda Express was because Staples, Panda Express and the store was all in the same area so the only thing we had to do was go across the street anyway once I went inside did some shopping after I did that, well, what happened after that was, what happened after that, I basically went inside and man, it was crowded. I mean, it's not even the first, but man, it was crowded. What I was focusing on what I was really focusing on, though, was, um, the fact that how many premature mothers were there. And what I mean by premature mothers, I do mean...
these skanks. Yes, I said it. skanks. So I live in California. <laughs> I live in California. I'm going to I'm going to see what I'm going to see. With your skanks. Anyway, like I said before. I had seen some skanks because they just didn't know how to treat their kids. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I mean. Anyway, it's like this. It took me about an hour to actually get in line. Well, actually not get in line, but actually it took me After it took me about maybe 30, 40 minutes to get what I need, get what I need to find there. I basically just stood in line for maybe about another 30 minutes or so, maybe longer, because this, this lady in front of in front of me had like two baskets full of like a warehouse full of food. And I'm saying to myself, well, damn, you know, this is like a freaking warehouse and, you know, stuff I got, this is like, this ain't nothing, this is like 20 bucks worth of stuff. So what happened was, I figured, well, I'd wait at least maybe a few more minutes. If not, I'm going to move into another line. Thankfully, I didn't. Oh, and if you don't know, this used to be Caldor Island. Ha! You got the white dragon R from Leo at last! No way the heck are you! I'm where you need to be! Listen, you need to open the four ice treasures to open. You need the four ice treasures to open the passage to my lair. Once you got those, you may have to backtrack a bit, but the way will be open. Each one is in a big white ice chest in the corners of this cave. Hurry up and get them. I'll be waiting. And I don't like waiting. Yes, sir. Anyway, yes, we're going to have to save here because in here, it's going to get ugly. It seems like the white dragon maze has seen better days. But I digress, though. Anyway, the funny thing is... Here's a problem I see. We're facing new, new enemies, the Muttley. <laughs> We're facing Muttley. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, we're facing Muttleys. Is that what you call yourself, sir? It's just very interesting. While I'm doing my end of shopping, I'm hearing, I'm hearing this. Shut the fuck up, you little, you little sucky such. I forgot, I forgot what it was, but I know it was demotional. And you know, she's she's telling this to a baby. This woman is telling this to a baby. Now, come on now, really. 
Say what you will, but honestly, you can't be doing that to a, to a baby who doesn't even know it better. You gotta teach it, you know? It's just sad. It's just sad that you have to teach kid. you have to talk to kids so ugly, and you wonder why... And you wonder why, uh, they're like, they're like the way they are now. So we're facing Blizzard and Electri. It's just terrible. I'll tell you something, when I was a teacher, or rather when I was a teacher's aide, I wasn't really, well, I was kind of a teacher. You see, I taught Japanese when I was, when I was working. And, The one thing I used to do a lot was I used to listen. Because I only did, you know, what aides usually do. They help with the teacher, you know, doing term, term papers and everything. I would usually listen to how certain people act, you know. And it's kind of funny because these parents, when I was when when I was working as a teacher, they talk about their kids like they they were this and all that. Like, she don't tell. And I was thinking to myself, really, if your kid was honestly like that, we wouldn't have to worry about telling him, no, you cannot do that. No, you cannot do this. And, yes, it was a predominantly black school. So, yeah. Kind of find it funny that, you know, these parents, that I've noticed they were, most of them, they were young. Like around my age, or anybody else's age, but they were like maybe in their early 30s or so. And the stuff I will listen to while this is going on. Here I am, about ready to go go home, and I and I used to walk home. I mean, very rarely did I did I carpool, but I really wanted to walk home. Anyway, I just didn't like it, you know, you know, all this unnecessary praise to give your kid, even though I had no say in it, but, you know, it was unnecessary because, oh, my child is this and my child is that. Really, think about it, if your child was all this and a bucket of chips, and I didn't have to say, don't do this, don't do that, while the teacher is doing something else. Would I, would I be here? Would I? Huh. But then again, you know. It goes back to what I was stating before about, you know, parenting. How I noticed parenting. Hmm. I mean, it was terrible. 
terrible, you know? You gonna know, blatantly curse at a child just for wanting this and wanting that. That's what kids do. You don't really just say, oh, shut the fuck up. No, you can't say shut the fuck up to a, a little baby who doesn't know the meaning of right and wrong. And they're starting to make sounds. You just don't do that. <sighs> Moving on. Actually, it was interesting at when I actually got up to the register. I met an old um, school chum of mine. And she, yes, she, she actually remembered me. She said, aren't you from Lauren Miller? I said, yeah. My name's Israel. Uh, you know, you remember me from, you remember me. So I told her what I've been doing with my, with my time, you know. I told her, you know, I'm a writer. Um, my first book's coming out in July. And I don't know, when I went back, when I actually checked out, the old man, when I told him news, he said, do you want to go back and, do you want to go back and get her number and everything? I said, no, that's okay. Now mind you, I have gone very few dates. The last thing I want to do is do a is go on a blind date. Plus, I already have a girlfriend. What, why would I want to actually go out with somebody else? I mean, I'm really not interested, so. That, that goes without saying, you know, I am spoken for. I'm spoken for, and I, I'm quite happy with that. Even though we are not together right now at the moment. Really, she's, she's on the east coast of the world. And then here we got the angel ring. Kill that little thing. We have gnats. We have a gnat problem, so I'm killing gnats as I'm doing so. As I'm doing this LP, I'm killing gnats, so that's why you hear weird stuff going on. Anyway. I think that's not the only thing I got. I got an antivirus thing that I, I'm going to save for my um, laptop. Whenever that is. I did find something that I really... That I'm really looking forward to getting. That is... A new chair. And the thing about this new chair... Is that it has armrests. And I always had an issue because, you know, I need something to actually relax in while I'm doing these let's plays because it's kind of hard to actually sit up with no cushion. And at the same time, you know, I really want to relax. Feels like I can't relax because I'm s sitting up like this. Thank you. Anyway, with 
progress being made throughout this game, we are. We have one of the four ice treasures. So we are going around and about to find the other three. So, actually, thank you for that one comment about the new mic. If it has better quality, then, uh, then the sound can be easily be worked out. No problem. The sound can easily be worked out. Before I actually started on this game, well, actually starting on this part, I was reading up on game facts, and just to see what kind of items there are in here. Oh yeah, that works. I can actually take something like that and just just downright do overkill. So with this, Ronfar gains level. Nice stat increasing. And Lamina also gains level after after much rejoicing. Before I actually I, I continued this, mind you, this game has started with the the reverse dragon spells. This game, and, and what I mean by reverse dragon spells is reverse dragon spells. It's just what I said, reverse dragon spells. Showcase Lunar to Silver Star in April. The original, the original Dragon spells were Dragon Bolt, Dragon Fire, Dragon Tear, and Dragon Quake. Lunar Eternal Blue is kind of different, and plus, on top of that. should we say this? Lunar Eternal Blue has brought out new spells to replace the old ones from the original Lunar. But the thing is that these spells stuck with the remake of Lunar the Silver Star, which is Lunar Silver Star Complete slash Harmony for the PSP. And the spell I'm currently going, I'm going to get with the Dragon Crest is um, Protect, White Dragon Protect. Funny, I don't remember Alex ever using White Dragon Protect, do you? 
Hero, yes. Alex, no, was Dragon Bolt for Alex. Actually, I missed the attack spells for Alex because the attack spells actually made a lot more sense. What I find funny is that after all this, That was the one thing I just never understood. Oh yeah, the magic shield. It goes for like three, three shots to protect you. Three or so shots. Maybe sooner, but anyway. In any case, yes, three or so shots. It, that's how much it will protect you for three or so shots, or depending on the enemy, maybe one shot. So see, this is a good thing I did this to Hero when when we were facing the Corpse Crusher. That's the name. The Corpse Crusher was just nasty. uncalled for. You take a licking, and you take a licking. What I never understood about the remake is if I haven't mentioned this before, but what's with all the voices? I mean, that's the one thing I really never understood. Why give the end combat engine voices? It didn't need no voice. Like for instance, Hero would say dodge this. Okay, um, and, and plus the attack just, I don't know, it, it just didn't feel the same as this one. I mean, me, me, I mean, maybe I'm faulting too much, but that's what it really felt like though. So yes, our mission here is to get all four of the treasures in this area. Tactless, maybe, but who's to say? See, I like that. Because the original never had voices, and it doesn't really need voices. It's kind of like... If you were to give Link a voice, it really wouldn't work. Because Link is all... screams and yells. Like, he needs a voice.
I mean, more like, Tiah! Ho! Tiah! Or something like that. But really, you know, I'm, I'm not faulting anything, but really. There are some things you need and some things you do not need. For Link, you don't really need talk. You just need action. I mean, Link is on four, hit, two, two. That sort of thing. I just don't see a point in why I do that. Why I do that to a masterpiece? You know, it, it it was fine just the way it was. I mean, if you wanted to, yeah, for Lunar, uh, Lunar Silver Star Sword, it was okay. The only thing I just didn't like was. I didn't like the use of how they were using the, um, the spells. Like, you only get eight spells. Really? Eight spells? For some people, there are less. But really, eight spells? I don't know about you, but that's harsh. I'd still like to know what happened there, but... Moving on. Hero! Again, it is the legend. Ah, poison. Pretty good tonight. All things considering, then I'm actually searching through every part, every nook and cranny, and yeah. Ah, uh, so that's what it does. Okay. So, good thing to know. Real good thing, no, do not touch that until you are done. Sorry, my, sorry if I'm kind of getting slow here. I got updates coming in, so it's kind of, it's going to slow things down a wee bit. Not too much, though. It's just a wee bit. It's just one go. Like, I'm doing it area by area. So therefore, if I did just the Leo the Leo fight by itself, well, that would that really would have been a teaser. And I don't like to do that to my viewers. And you realize I'm almost at 1,000 videos? Man, I am nearly hitting 1,000 videos.
Man, I didn't think I'd like you, Sarah. And a long drop falls over somebody's ass. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my day in a nutshell. Nothing too fancy, nothing too adventurous. Just me going out and get this new set of earphones that I got. I think it was this way, yeah. I should get that. I am gonna get those treasure chests. Wow, you are grounded, sir! So surprised you got grounded. This way, might as well go up this way, like so. But you know what, I haven't done in a while. Step back, sir. I don't know about you, but why does Lamina have to say mega all the time? Like, oh my goodness, why say that? that it's like you're. It's like you're overusing the word for no apparent reason. battles quicker. Even though it cost me 25 MP. That's okay. I do not mind the 25 MP.
It's worth the cost of admission. For the sake of M MX, you know? Oh, for the sake of MX. Yep, you can't move. So why do I still have it all? That's the question all the time, and I see why. And Jane gains a level. Why not? <sighs> well, I guess what I can do is I can actually go over here. Well, you know, it's one of these. I don't really like to focus on fights while I'm doing it. While I'm doing it these battles. I didn't think too much before you were too sheen. Really? Wrong way, huh? Really? Wrong way again. Really? That takes me out. Thank you, pair for battle. One and two and three. 
and three and four and five. I didn't think you survived. Hero. Eleven hit points. Really, hero? Really? I'd give you a high five, but you're too far away from the screen. thinking, why am I going through all this? Because I feel like it. No, actually, there's a way to get through it. Don't you start evading my attacks. You know better than that. Go up in the sky on your ass. And you know I will. me. Aww. Man, I had to beat your tail, otherwise I would, I would take you home as a pet. You little ice mongrels. Money's, money's, uh, money's are always good. Quite a big mouth for such for someone as little as you. Oh, mommy, can we keep it? No. Oh. Well, that thing has has shots. Oh, daddy, can we keep it? No. Oh, how come? I could probably picture some random kid on Lunar would be saying that. There's an ice pup in the middle of nowhere, and he's like, Oh, the ice pup's not so cute! And so he shows his... Until he opens his mouth real big, and like, Now... 
if you were at level 30, your ass would be grass right about now. Or around the area that I am, I'm at level 26, 26 ish, 20, 24, 26, 26 ish. 26 ish, not 26 inches. Sniffing me, I don't have no small skills. So, yes, believe it or not, the area that we are in currently is what used to be called Caldor Island. Tactus, maybe. Maybe, but not as bad. Poison. Yes, yeah, shower me with love. That's right, you shower me with love, Lucia. Because I'm working hard for you. I'm working double duty. Because when you're a man like Hero, all you're doing it for is you're doing it for love. That's all you're doing it for. And as you can see, wow, 34, over 34,000. Now you know what, let me do this. Flame shot. Flame shot. Risk roulette. Anger flame. Lucky dice. I figured since I ha I got the chance to do it now, I might as well. I might as well upgrade. Sorry, they give you a lot of MX here, a lot of magic experience, so, therefore, I'd take the chance to actually go for it. You die, sir. Note how powerful flame shot is here. A 
And yes, risk roulette is just what it is. Like Russian roulette. So that's why I'm just, you know, doing a lot of grinding here. So in here we find the Platinum Armor. I think I have this, don't I? Well, I have Lightning Armor, okay. Let's see. Well, let me use this Delvernaut on Jean. My utility goes down, but my defense goes up. Fair trade. Kind of makes sense, though. And I haven't tried Anger Flame, so let's do that. So that's how you want to play it, A. Anger Flame is just that. I dare you, bitch. I dare you to hit me like that again. But we'll go flying off the wall, man. So the next thing I'm going to focus on is getting Ron far up to at least level 18. Oh, that's cold, man. Why'd you do that? That was uncalled for. Look at when I'm talking to you. Thank you, Lucia. I 
I think the more she actually understands, the more power she gets. Like, I know I was wrong, I didn't mean to be a douche. You knew you were wrong, and you didn't mean to be a douche. Oh, I almost forgot, I got, I got a instant weapon I can actually use. Okay, change of plans. Even though it's going to cost me a bit of... Even though I think it's going to cost me a bit of power, I'm going to try this. see what happens when you use a flame sword absolutely nothing Wonderful. Hello, magic swiping. Ronfar gains a level after all that. So he's at level 25, no, level 27. Oh. And the girls are still at level 25. 
by excluding Lucia, who is equal to hero now. Wow. I usually just stay in here and grind for magic experience, so, you know, what you see is what you get. Trust me, in like a couple of rounds, I would at least be around like what, level 30-ish? Because I say, um, I say I'm going to power up. I'm going to do this, it only makes sense. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do some off-screen grinding while I'm around here. And when I come back, I'm still going to be recording, but I'm just going to be grinding for some more levels. But when I come back, I should be a little bit stronger than I was before. So stay tuned for a little bit. Okay, I'm back, I saved a bit, and yeah, I'm here at the third, yes, that's right, third part of the, of the quest to find the four ice treasures of rule. Oh, wait, not the ice treasures of rule, what am I thinking of? Well, we might as well, it's like the Pirates of Dark Water, but anyway. We're still in this cave. That's all you need to know. We're still in this cave. And I've kind of grown accustomed to all the weirdos and the freaks of nature that fly around here. still with that flame sword. Ice, fire. Mountain. Okay, bad joke. But mo moving on, more importantly, we've come to get the platinum helm for Suf. And, well, since I have a star, I might as well use this thing. I mean, this will be enough, I think. The Platinum Scimitar, yes, I'm still going to have that around. But me want that Platinum Helm. So, let's recap. Null has given us full authority to be in this cave. So we can find him. And help him reclaim his awesomeness bounty. And we get some monies out of all this. Oh boy, by the time I get to the next episode, man, it's going to be something else. anything about there being a boss in this area. 
Oh, trust me, there's a boss in this area. We just haven't met it yet, because we have yet another area that we must go through. Hooray. I tell you, it just isn't right. But I'm sorry if it sounded a little, a little quieter, but you know, it's after hours. I don't think nobody actually cares. So hopefully everybody can hear this because, well, why not? Because I'm turning this up as loud as I can push it. Over the last weekend, I got myself a haircut and a little beard trim, a little beard stash, a little beard stash trim here. Hair tapered down a bit. I feel awesome. Feel more awesome if I had a cup of tea. But oh well. You guys sure love the jump me, don't you? Something interesting about the anger flame? It can be deflected. Use as directed. But I will say that honestly. You know, I find it funny that someone would actually watch all of this in one sitting. You know, a bowl of popcorn, somebody's actually watching Lunar, Eternal, well, Silver Star and Eternal Blue back to back like this. If you really think about it, this game can be as long as you want it to be and as short as you want it to be. I'm going to try to do it like I did Lunar. Finish it within less time it takes for me to play it. Doesn't affect her. It's not effective. It's super effective! Died by critical hit. So yeah, like I said before, this is pretty interesting. Because I'm actually going through this, and I'm not really breaking a sweat. Now, the part I hate the most is right down here. And I've been through this once. I had to go through this again. Oh, you... Going. 
rather amazing how fast I can actually whoop on somebody like that. Because really, you die, sir. You are staying among this community. And for that, your ass must be grass. And here's the worst part of this. I had to go in a certain, in a certain way. Now there's a certain path to this place. I'm not going to try and run because nine times out of ten, the run command is not going to work for me. Plus, I rarely run for battles. And you see why I use, and you see why I use the flame sword. Yes, yes, I know you're a pro at pl you're a pro at playing pool on console. Yes, I know. I don't really give shit for pool. I really don't. I'm not Minnesota Fats. I'm sorry, but I I'm just not. Yes, I can read this stuff while I'm actually playing this game, so. I mean, I have Skype on. At the same time that I have Skype on, I am actually... Okay, let me see. I'm trying to think. Is there another one here? I'm going back in here, see what's going on. Because it's very easy to actually get confused while you're here. I can input commands, but I suck at so many other games. It's like I'm more at peace with RPGs than any other game. Because I actually feel like I'm doing something worthwhile. Poop, sir. We're just getting a whole lot of good stuff here while we're here, while we're up here, and I'm kind of thinking where I'm going right now. I wish I had a map. Thing is, I had a lunar eternal blue um, map. Let me tell you, sometimes it is good to have a map. I mean, if you're doing a blind run and you don't know where you're going, if you're doing a blind run, it is best to have a map on you. 
if you get confused in some sort of way, it's like, for instance, I'm revisiting old games like Lunar 1 and, and Eternal Blue. Sometimes I will need use of a map. It's not cheating if you're using your tools correctly. It's kind of like this. I saw Big Fate Plus's um, LP of Shakan the Forever Man. And the game does cheat. And you know what? I give him props because he, a he actually utilized the cheats. It's not really cheating if you know how to utilize the cheats. So therefore, you're not really cheating. You're making the game on even ground because some parts are harder than others. So it's not... So I don't see why people say, well, I don't want to cheat. I say, I say this. If the help is there, use it. It's like if the cheat is there, use the cheat if you need to use it. You don't have to turn it on but have it have it ready just in case something stupid happens. Just in case if the game starts starts giving you a bad hand, use utilize the cheats. That's what that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to utilize the cheese. You know what you're doing, but, you know, you want to stay within the rules of your own LP. But, you know, for me, I utilize whatever means I have available. So if there's a map, I'm going to use a map. Especially if it's been a long time since I've played a certain game. I'm going to utilize it. I mean, no offense to anybody who is who is an L peer or C L peers, but that's my style, though. So, to anybody else, you know, everybody has their own style. Me, I like to just utilize whatever whatever's at my disposal. Because I don't want to make every game that I play look easy. I like challenge. That's how I am. It's like if I was playing Dynasty Warriors <clears throat> 3X, which is th Extreme Extreme Legends, I'd be using I'd be utilizing what I have on my save card. I mean, on my not my safe card, my memory card. I'd utilize that to to its fullest. Let's see. Mm. Hades wager. Hades Wager is just that. It's. Let me show you what Hades Wager does. Hades Wager is basically this it brings the party back to life. That's. And just in case something were to ever, 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 and I do mean ever, terribly happens. That's your last ditch effort. So therefore, you know, it's like, you can't do that. Oh yeah, you can. So just to let you know, that's how I roll in, in, in games, you know. It's especially how YouTube has somehow let us break the mold of 15 minutes. Sky's the limit. I mean, if I'm going to go over, over in just one area, 
I'm gonna do that. So does she. I turned the volume off, so therefore, anybody who's anybody who's watching my videos, the reason why they turned down, I turned it down just to, just for a test, but I forgot to turn it back up. So everything is all the way back up. I think in this area, there's one, I, I think there's two in one area. I think the last one is like, um, I forgot where, I forgot, but I think it's probably in that maze. But I would probably have to access the maze first. To fire, fire my laser and smack you around like a bitch. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. You know why? Because that's how I roll. Well, damn, hero. Shall we call you Lucky? Wow. Nice. You know what? At this point, after this battle, I'm going to stop for, yeah, I'm going to stop the video right here, and after which, I'm going to consult GameFAQs or whatever that has a map to this area and see exactly where the hell am I. And from then on, once I do come back, I will most likely have all the rest of the treasures. Because there is one more treasure left that I had to get, then I had to go and open the last door. But I will be doing some grinding in the meantime, though. So 
yeah, that will do it for now. So. In the meantime, I'm going to stop right here, and when we come back, most likely, most likely, I'm still in this room here. But don't worry, I'm going to keep this on. I'm probably going to find a map, a possible map, and maybe find what I was looking for. So, more Lunar Eternal Blue in a short while. <laughs>